Brook Hill is taking a new step to make sure buses are safer. As follows this rollover last summer that sent several girls to the hospital. Lisa Benson shows us what the school is doing now. Lisa? Well, Mark, the school is buying a new fleet of buses that are equipped with seatbelts. So now, even in a rollover accident, their students will be protected. Click it or ticket to Battle of the Belt. When it comes to seat belt and vehicles, the message has been clear since 1968. It takes one time of forgetting or even choosing not to wear your seat belt to change your life or even end it. The same is not true for seat belts on school buses. Nationwide, 23 million students ride school buses every day. And according to the National Transportation and Highway Safety Administration, seat belts are not necessary on large school buses. Well, we believe that the current safety systems uh, in use on school buses are effective. Dr. Steve Bellis is the head of schools at Pembroke Hill. In August of last year, 22 of their students were hurt in a school bus accident on the first day of school. For the start of the 2014 school year, all Pembroke students will be buckled up. The school bought four new buses equipped with three-point safety restraints. The manufacturer sent us this photo. Every one of our students, when they go anywhere in a school bus, it will be a bus outfitted with these seat belts and our expectation is that uh, every student will be buckled up every time that bus is moving. Which is not typical for schools in Missouri. In 2005, two motorists were killed and 23 students were injured too seriously in a Liberty school bus crash. A district spokesman said today none of their regular transit buses have been outfitted with seat belts. Pembroke is the only school in Missouri that mandates seat belts on large buses. Each bus will cost the school between 90 and $100,000. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.